In 1949, the Mobile Municipal Airport moved to 840 acres located 12 miles from the city at the end of a two-lane road. In the over 70 years since its relocation, the Mobile Regional Airport has provided airline service for millions of business and leisure travelers. And that two-lane rural road became Airport Boulevard, a busy corridor that accommodates thousands of cars each day. While the airport is a first-rate facility, traffic congestion, a location 10 miles away from the interstate and other factors, have eaten away at Mobile Regional's passenger base. In fact, approximately 55% of the Mobile market is lost to competitors, including the Pensacola and New Orleans airports. Fewer passengers result in fewer flights and higher fares. And a thriving airport is important to the local economy. Airports are like the spoke of a wheel. We are connected to every phase of a city's economy. We're connected to academic institutions, we're also connected to tourism and to small businesses. So we touch almost every phase of the economy and we connect people to the global network. To revitalize Mobile's commercial passenger service and recapture its market of travelers, the Mobile Airport Authority commissioned a feasibility study in 2018. It concluded moving service from the poorly located Mobile Regional Airport to the Mobile Downtown Airport was critical. Recent commercial passenger flights from low-cost carrier Frontier in 2019, made possible by an investment from the authority, served as a successful trial run. 60% of passengers came from fast-growing nearby Baldwin County. Therefore, the Mobile Airport Authority, with the support of local leaders, is committed to the expansion of Mobile Downtown Airport, known as BFM, at the Mobile Aeroplex at Brooklyn. Many of the businesses and the CEOs of those major corporations in Mobile support this move, and I predict that they'll be flying exclusively out of downtown Mobile. The airport would be a key piece of a transportation network with easy access to rail, the Alabama Cruise Terminal, and I-10 and I-65. Plus, with the move of service to BFM, over 138,000 people would be closer to the Mobile area airport. The downtown airport is an attractive location for the commercial airlines. If we're able to foster competition between the commercial airlines, then we can lower fares and provide more direct destinations than we currently have. A master plan conducted from 2019 to 2020 identifies the best alternatives for a new terminal layout for commercial passenger service at Mobile Downtown Airport. This complements the robust aeronautic industrial activity at the Brooklyn Aeroplex and maximizes the existing system of roadways and opportunities for future development. As president of the Eastern Shore Chamber, I think I can speak for the businesses and also for the tourism industry in Baldwin County and on the Eastern Shore. Having the airport right here in our backyard would be a great service to both, both in time and also not having people fly into other areas such as Pensacola or the Mississippi Gulf Coast lands them right here in our backyard where they can learn all the wonderful things there are to do in Mobile and on the Eastern Shore. Moving the airport to downtown will be moving Mobile toward being a world-class city.